God wants you to prosper, not somebody else, not someone down the street, but he wants you to prosper. He promises to be our exceeding great reward. God has a great plan for you. Third John, verse two, it says, beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Okay, kingdom people, can I pour you some tea? You'll find a little bit more about me as I was interviewed by Gail Guest Brown of Guest Brown Impact. Don't want to miss this because you want to know the behind the scenes, the from and the to, the before and the after, and why I do what I do, the passion behind the purpose. Yes, you want to hear this message. And then we'll have, uh, next up is Dr. Shanta Hayes. I hope you guys are going to go out to my brand new website and take a look, right? There's a couple of videos out there. You can connect to me so you'll be up. Hey, look who's here. Thank you for joining us today, all the way from Tampa, Florida, right? Right on right. the other side of the U.S. <laughs> Absolutely. It is a pleasure to introduce to you today, Dr. Shante Haynes. And um, I met Shante at a conference last right as COVID was beginning to break out in LA. We were both there for marketing and um, we have been fast friends and we have been connected ever since. Uh, but I know her to be a marvelous human being. One thing I love about her is she's very connected to her faith community as she's very, her business is all about um, biblically based, you know, financial practices. And so, no, financial financial practices are good, but biblically based financial practices are even better. So it's a it's an audience that um, I've been trying to reach myself for a minute, right? Because I remember I was in Vegas one time, and I swear God sent me a message that don't forget about my people, don't forget about kingdom people, right? I speak at a lot of different places, I go a lot of different, and I've been in a lot of bit different, but. He said, don't forget about my people, right? I gifted you. I made you. And I want you to share your gifts in the kingdom as well. So Shantae Shante is doing that. And so I'm so proud to introduce her. Let me give her a little bit formal uh, introduction, and then she'll be on to talk to us. Dr. Shantae Haynes is recognized uh, is a recognized and highly respected author, speaker, and coach with a reputation for helping individuals and organizations create quick and sustainable results. She's a biblically based money management expert. She's known for simplifying, simplifying complex problems and creating actionable and effective solutions. To succeed in these challenging times, Individuals and organizations turn to Dr. Shante. I call her Shante to provide strategies that work. Some of the reasons you can depend on Shante is to help. Some of the reasons you can depend on her to help you put your feet on. I love this saying: "Put your feet to your faith." There you go. Put your faith and walk victoriously. Is she's reputable? She's experienced. I love this one. Exciting, inviting, encouraging, firecracker personality in biblical teaching since 2005. She has a lot of integrity. She does things with excellence unto the Lord, Colossians 3.24. She's resourceful and she customizes all of her, her curriculum to specifically address your needs. She is the author of many books and she has uh, allowed us to give away just a few of them today for raffle. And so Shante, without any further ado, would you first tell us the books that you'd like to offer today? And then tell us a little bit more about yourself beyond these credentials. Well, thank you, Gail. It's just such a privilege to be here. You're always, oh, my friend for life. I know we, we met quick, fast, and in a hurry and became that fast friend. The book that I'm giving away is called Not Just Paper, 
And not just paper was a combination of teaching biblical finances for over 15 years. And I found that uh, my students would get the, the theological side of it, but they weren't practically applying. So therefore, I started writing a lot more books to help them practically apply it. But I say in not just paper, money talks, and it has a lot to say about you. And we need to recognize that it should speak well of us as well as the God that we serve. So that's the book that I'm giving away. And I actually have three of those that will be given away. So I'm excited about being able to put that in the hands of people to be able to change their mindset so that they get with God's economy and then start doing some things differently. Because there's some tests in there. There's a Bible study that's in there. There's a lot that's in the book is about 258 pages or so, but I make sure I give you a wealth of information. There's some on the shelf. A wealth of information when I do give it. But, Gail, you said introduce myself beyond what's on the page. And, you know, I would say come a little bit closer. Let me pour you some tea, right? All right now. You don't look like what we've been through. All right now. Oh, you're so cute. And, you know, we got it all going, to, going <laughs> on. And you're absolutely right. My resume says I'm a biblical money management expert with over 20 years of proven experience, right? Proven results. Those are the credentials, as you say. But you don't understand the crisis that we go through. And we as women go through so much and have been through so much. So... I, the credentials are important from the standpoint that you don't want to take some advice, financial advice, for somebody that's broke. And we typically do. You know, brother and them, uncle can tell you how to deal with your money. And you look at their bank account and you say, well, wait a minute. Why did I listen to them? Okay, so credentials are there. Yes, I've got it. Proven results. But what you don't know on the crisis side of it is that after 29 years of marriage, I got the rug pulled out from under me when my husband asked for a divorce. And I was like most people, dumbfounded, anxious, and not sure what my financial future was going to look like. And I know how money works, but at the same time, you can have this intellectual side, but that emotional roller coaster that we go on, that uneasiness, that anxiety, that not doing the self-care because we've been taking care of everybody else all along and you expected things to be different really hits home. And so even though I know the information, even though I've coached many people, I didn't think in my wildest dreams that this would happen to me. And I was like 90% of the women hiding in the shadows, trying to figure out what I was going to do and wanting the life that I sacrificed so hard for and the effort that I put in to then materialize. And then I realized, because I had been doing the finance for the general population, you know, biblical finance is going to work for everyone if you manage your money well. The statistics shows one in five women who go through divorce or a sudden death, end up widowed, end up in poverty. And mm -hmm. so I had to figure out, what do I do with this population that was thrown in my lap to say, you're missing this group? Just like you said, God said, don't forget about my people. I was looking at the people because the charlatans mm -hmm. were up in the, in the flock. Mm -hmm. And I always believe that if we are shining like jewels, people will want to know what it is that we have. If we're broke, busted, and disgusted, they have no need to want anything that we have to say, right? <laughs> right. But on the, on the female side, and we recognize that, you know, these women are going into poverty. I'm like, wait a minute, something's wrong here. 18% of women don't even understand money management skills to begin with, let alone mm -hmm. trying to leave a legacy, let alone learning how to invest. Yeah. And we've got to change the game. So what I recognize in my navigating this is that you can't control how somebody else feels. You can't control the system, which is typically stacked against us. But what we can control is how we handle the finances that we do have. It's not what you make, it's how much you keep that's important. We can effectively build confidence in order to then move forward and walk abundantly. 
and we can change the game. Financial healing is available after heartbreak. And like I like to say, you know, my heart might be broke, but my bank account doesn't have to be. And so you need to be able to walk appropriately. So my passion, as I started coaching, that was one of my pivots, is to help women who are devastated by the double Ds, that's divorce or death, to gain confidence in order to live life on their terms with peace and financial security. So that's one of the things that I am doing now. I still have the books. I still have the online classes, all of that that's available. But that coaching side and the program's called, you'll love this, Prosperity After the Pain. Oh, I love it. I love it. it up. Yes. Yes, love it. You know, that is so, don't you love the coaching? No, I know that was one of your pivots this year. You know, I do, um, I love my leadership development courses, you know, focusing on DEIB, but I, there is nothing like coaching one-on-one, right? Uh, because you, you are there together, co-creating these solutions together. And, you know, if you are a woman going through the double Ds, either death or divorce, as you say, mm-hmm. you can feel lonely, right? You don't want to share that that loneliness and that pain with your friends. And so having a coach, having a confidential ally in your corner to help you navigate and pivot and do the things you need to do uh, is is a great experience. I've had a coach before. Coaches have coaches, believe it or not. And uh, it's, it's a very needed experience. So tell us what you think about, this year has been a tough year for a lot of people, for our ladies. And for everybody, really, not just the ladies, but um, for those who are wanting to, what what would you advise people to focus on for this new year as we come out of COVID, as things get back to opening up again? Where should folks focus? Where where should we focus? Well, I call them the Corona cooties, actually. (laughs) Not to minimize what we went through, but recognizing the virus spread and it spread from one person to the other. One of the things that I noticed is that one, we should have already been getting our financial house in order. That's my number one for anybody. And that's what I teach them. But the Corona cooties, when they came in, they really magnified the problem that was already there. We were living paycheck to paycheck. We weren't paying attention to our finances. We were going off doing whatever we wanted to do. And I came up with, um, in the midst of all of this, just a saying for people, and it's called, are you okay? Using the letter R, the letter U, and then okay. And so you check in with folks. The R is really the 411. So that's what I I offer. um, The four is on the R side. You're going to renegotiate if you've got any bills that are out there that are exorbitant for you to negotiate those. You're going to reprioritize what is the important things that you need to have. You're going to also calculate your budgets to make sure that you're in balance, but you're going to have to take, take some things out. Refocusing what you really need to do. So the renegotiate, refinance if you need to, um, refocus, reprioritize, recalculate, all of those are in the R. The U is paying attention to underutilized assets. Sometimes we could do things together with our family as opposed to me paying. This $10 a month for Netflix doesn't sound like much. It's $120 a year, okay? But you can share it with a couple people within your family as opposed to you paying all of it. Now, Netflix, I'm not against Netflix, please help. Don't sue me. Don't put that out there. But there are those little bills that we've been paying for so long. The okay goes to be overly kind. Why? I like to say, call it great. But if you give people that overabundance of kindness, because they didn't wake up thinking that they were going to try to get on your nerves. They didn't wake up trying to, you know, be in your pocket. You just learn to give them grace like you would want grace. So are you okay is what I kind of tell people. I like it. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. 
Hey family, thanks for watching. I want you to do at least two things now. One, subscribe to this channel. If you are not a subscriber, you might be missing out on the new episodes that are coming up and you don't want to miss it. But if you already are a subscriber, make sure that you share this message and impart some wisdom for somebody else. We want everybody to get on the same page. Shine your light and let your light continue to shine through others. Number two, go to guestbrownimpact.com and check out what Gail has to offer there. Check her out on social media as well. That's Guest Brown Impact on Facebook, as well as LinkedIn. It's Gail Guest Brown. Look forward to being able to serve you even better. You can find us online at h, the number two, htruth.org. At Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, we're helping believers live an abundant life based on God's word, standing on his promises, walking out his principles, sharing with God's people, serving as unto the Lord.